Where there's smoke, there's fire. Our next dish harnesses the flavor blasting power of live fire and wood smoke on one of my all time favorite steaks, the New York Strip. Four fingers thick, two pounds of pure proteinaceous pleasure. Step number one, season these steaks on all sides with coarse sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. The New York Strip steak comes from the strip loin. And if you picture a T-bone steak or a porterhouse, it's the larger of the two steaks that are connected by a T-bone. Season your steak with an assertive hand, especially when it's a strip steak that's this thick. I'm using a Komodo Kamado ceramic cooker from Indonesia, and I filled the charcoal basket with unlit charcoal. And to generate wood smoke, we're going to add a couple of cherry wood chunks to the coals. Now I lit half a chimney of charcoal in a chimney starter, and I'll pour it on top of the unlit coals. Now install the grill grate and go get your steaks. To monitor the cooking, I'm using a dual probe remote digital thermometer. So one probe goes through the wall of the cooker into the cook chamber. This will tell me the temperature of the cook chamber. The second probe actually goes right into the steak, lengthwise into the middle, close the lid and latch it. And then you want to adjust the bottom vent so it's open about a quarter of an inch on the top vent. Close it first and then back off a quarter turn. This recipe uses a technique that's commonly known as reverse searing. That is, you cook the steak at a low, slow temperature to cook it almost all the way through low temperature. Then you jack the temperature up and you finish uh, the sear over a high heat. Now what does this do? Number one, if you're cooking with a big thick steak and it enables you to get the steak cooked through without burning the outside. Number two, I'm actually smoking the steak before I grill it. So you're infusing the beef with a lot of smoke flavor and then putting a sear on right at the end. So while the steaks smoke, let me show you the board sauce. And I've got my remote thermometer here so I can monitor the temperature. We're about 246 in the cook chamber. That's where I want to be. Just 68 degrees, so we've got a ways to go on the steaks. So what the heck is a board sauce? Well, the board sauce was invented by a chef named Adam Perry Lang. His idea was take the ingredients for the sauce, these herbs, place them on a cutting board, carve the hot steak right on top of those ingredients. The meat juices would mix with the herbs. I'm going to add olive oil. And you'd actually make the sauce right on the cutting board. And we'll start by thinly slicing a jalapeno chili. Then we also have a red jalapeno chili. And that will give us great color. And we have fresh sage leaves and fresh scallions, thinly sliced. Last of all, chopped fresh chives. Then pour about a quarter of a cup of extra virgin olive oil over the chopped herbs and chilies. And I can see with my remote thermometer that the internal temperature of the smoke strip steaks is 106 degrees. Whoa, look how gorgeous those steaks are. Burnished with wood smoke. We'll want to pull the thermometer out, take the steaks off, transfer them to a wire rack, leave the grill lid open, open up these vents wide open at the bottom because we want as much air as possible coming through. We want to build up a raging fire so we can finish the sear over a high heat. The grill is ready. Now, the smoke steaks go back on the fire. We're looking for an internal temperature now of 120 if you like your steak rare, 130 if you like your steak medium rare. And 
action. We're 131, so just take out the thermometer. They are seared to perfection. And now for the fun part. Take your hot, smoked, seared strip steak. Place it right on those board flavorings. And then carve the steak. Look at that smoke ring. Look how incredibly juicy that steak is. You can see uniform color. Take my word for it. The aroma is absolutely incredible. So now drizzle a little more extra virgin olive oil over the steak. And then start mixing the meat with the aromatics and the olive oil. And the meat juices will mix in to the herbs. And the hot steak will gently warm the aromatics. Oh. And now the moment I've been waiting for. Take a steak. This is insanely good. The steak is tender, it's smoky, sort of like a steak that thinks it's a brisket. And you've got the heat from the jalapenos, the aromatics from the sage. So the next time you cook a four finger thick strip steak, remember reverse searing and remember the board sauce.